All right guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be doing another release review on the Scott Advantage 3 release. So I recorded this earlier this afternoon only to discover that my audio was terrible. So for this round, I made sure that both of my sources of audio were working correctly. So first of all, this is a hinge release, which essentially means the way the shot is fired is on a hinge. So the shot is fired by the hinge rotating like this. Hinge releases and back tension releases are known to produce surprise shots, which is supposed to help conquer target panic, which is when your pin does not want to settle on the target where you hold below or to the side, and then right as the shot goes, you jerk it off to the side. So a hinge or back tension release is supposed to help you keep your pin on the target the whole time and force you to pull through the shot. So these releases go for between $100 and $120, so they're not really that expensive, and they have a smaller design for younger people or women or people with smaller hands. The problem that you get when you have too big of hands is your fingers push up against this hinge part here and the shot does not go off when you want it to. One nice thing about this release is that it is made of stainless steel so if you happen to leave it outside um, you shouldn't have to worry about it rusting. So this release was originally targeted for target archers, pun intended, but from what I've heard and what I've seen, it works great in hunting scenarios as well. So one of the nice things about this release is it has a half moon system, so you can flip back and forth between having click and no click by taking out this middle screw here and flipping the moon around. And also by adjusting that half moon, you can control how long the travel is till the shot breaks. One thing I don't really like about this release is it does not have a place down here for a strap to go on, so you have to hold it or put it in your pocket. It's not like you can just strap it on your wrist. I think part of the reason why they don't have that strap attachment there is because that is where the Allen wrench goes to adjust the half moon. So one pro and con of this release is that it is all one solid piece in here, so you can't add any finger attachments, which even though it's not a must, it would be nice to have. So overall, I think this is a great release for a beginner or somebody with slightly smaller hands. Yeah, so that's pretty well it for this video. Um, just a short, quick release review. I know my first video was better, but I'm just really bummed out I didn't have the right audio then. But, always learning for next time. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. And, uh, and uh, yeah, the sister's back. You want to close out the video? Yeah. What do you, what do you want me to say? Close out. How would you close out? So that's a wrap on today's video. Um, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you want. No obligation to. Um, have a good day. Peace. <laughs>